Katie Vargo. This is my happy place. It really is. Suffered four strokes in the past five years. My first stroke was December 26, 2012. All under the age of 50. But she never gave up. Always keeping a positive attitude, <laughs> doing more than she ever thought. It's a scary thing, depending on where it hits in your brain. She was diagnosed with a PFO, which is a hole in your heart. KD is in the 10% who are affected by this condition, leading to the strokes. According to the Journal of the American Heart Association, most strokes occur over the age of 50. But in recent years, there has been a 44% jump in younger people suffering from strokes. That's what really threw the emergency room off was I was 45. After her first episode, Katie was stuck. She couldn't walk and didn't know what the future would hold. Because you don't know how much are you going to get back, what's your life going to be like, is this all I'm going to get? And um, it affects you emotionally, you cognitively. But with the help of Mark Durando, a personal trainer who started working with stroke patients, she saw progress. First time I could stand on, on one foot and do a single leg stand for 30 seconds, we were jumping up and down like I won the Super Bowl. We are here to help people who do not want to go into the sedentary lifestyle. We want them to remain active. The main point is you've got to keep moving. If you stop, then everything you've done in, with the physical therapist, it goes to a waste. He took his experience as an EMT, combined it with his physical training, and then researched specifically about strokes. He was then able to create a fitness routine to help his clients. So it seems like a normal fitness routine for most, like lifting weights with a barbell or walking lunges, actually helps stroke survivors regain basic motor functions. There you go. Ready to pick up that feet. There you go. Now KD does more than she ever thought she could physically. But this That's training good. is more than just physical. It is That's mental it. therapy as well. Good job. You go through this whole emotional thing of you feel like you're letting people down. But when you come into the gym and you can do stuff and you're learning how to do stuff and it translates to your regular life, that lifts that depression. In honor of Stroke Awareness Month, Mark wants survivors to know there is a lot more you can do long term to help get your life back. Just the whole idea of this month is again, Stroke Awareness Month is coming back strong. And that's kind of what the symbol of this is, it's return to your new normal. You're never going to be exactly the same person that you were before. You're going to have to continue to strive and the reason why it's not finished is because it's never finished.